Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So today's video, we're going to be talking about recording the switch. Um, so you can have like proper overlays and stuff like that. Um, how you can do, we're going to be talking about multiple console recordings more or less today. And the reason for that is because I've had a few people ask me on, on, uh, on Bego how to do that and how to stream that and stuff like that. So I'm just going to break down a video on how I do it. I do recommend the recording software I'm using right now, the recording application I'm using right now. Um, that is what I recommend. But you can also use ones like Open Camera. Open Camera can hide the entire overlay, which is really nice. So that works out too. But I'm going to get into it on how I do it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need some way to actually put your phone above the actual switch. Best way I found to do that is a tripod. Like, I'm not even kidding, it's a tripod. It's a straight up, you know, regular camera photography tripod. Or you could do this. I have one of these little clamps. I showed these off in another video. So, um, I got these for like obviously doing over the top overhead sh shots. So, I'm actually going to be testing these out. Um, here soon with something else I got coming. So I have a piece of uh, I have a piece of hardware coming that attaches to a tripod thread and then it, it's like a little adjustable arm. I'm gonna be testing that out here soon. I don't know when, but I'm gonna be testing that out here soon. But mainly you want a tripod and you want some way to have the um, you want some way to have the actual display or have your phone above it so that way you can capture whatever it is you're trying to capture. Now, if you're trying to capture things like the Xbox and stuff like that, I will show you another method in this video. So. Alrighty, you guys. So this is what it will look like when you are done. So. I'm going to switch over to the actual, uh, the way you're supposed to do it. So also I recommend you have it plugged into power because that really does help a lot. So you don't want to have it to die. So, yeah. Alrighty, so here we are in the main menu. Hopefully this is being picked up real good. Yes, it seems like it. So yeah, you can do it like this, or you can do it in other ways. You do make you do got to make sure it's focused though. So, all right, well I'm gonna switch back over to regular camera, and I'll show you guys what other hardware you might need. The other thing I'm gonna recommend if you are using the switch primarily is either a separate controller or um, the Joy-Cons with the Joy-Con grip. I do recommend, uh, for the Switch at least, you have it plugged into power. Um, or you all could do the TV method, which I'm gonna demonstrate here in a minute as well. Hi, Cat. Can you not be in the video right now? That'd be great. So, um, I will see you guys when I get to the TV setup part. Now, the one thing you have to understand about the TV setup is it will have reflections, it just, it just will. Like, there's no getting around it, so...